Thank you for tuning into today's powerful broadcast. Coming up next on Revival Time. And the Lord, the Lord said, curse him that curse thee. You see all your people writing on Facebook. You see all your people writing on YouTube. You see all you cleaner and you star and you newspaper and you television land. Curse, we'll curse them that curse thee. Curse be them that curse thee. God will curse you. Ah, when you wake in the morning, the curse will be on you. When you sign the contract, the curse will be on you. When you build, the curse will all be on you. When you go out, the curse will be on you. When you worship, the curse will be on your worship. And I will bless them that bless thee. I will curse them that curse thee. And let me tell you, all the people around you, giving to you, that hear you, that log on to you, and all the families. of the earth shall be blessed the favor shall be upon the protection shall be upon mercy shall be upon goodness shall be upon preservation and protection shall be around you change that dial. We'll be right back. Let's go now. Let's go now. All of my friends. Let's go now into a word preaching, burden removing, yoke destroying, praise, celebration. I said, let's go right now into a word preaching you're destroying praise celebration lift up a praise in the house come on lift up a worship in the house if you know and believe that your heavenly father is almighty and powerful then there's no need to worry about what the enemy thinks about you. Because you are what God says you are. Somebody put a praise on it this morning. The word of the Lord comes to us today from the book of Genesis chapter 12. Reading verses 1 through to verse 4. Genesis chapter 13. Reading verses 1 through to verse number 5. And Ephesians chapter 1, reading verses 1 through to verse 5. And it reads as follows. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee. And make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. Somebody feel a blessing this morning. And I will bless them that bless thee. And curse them that curse thee. 
And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Verse number 4. So Abram departed as the Lord had spoken unto him. And Lot went with him. And Abram was 70 and 5 years old when he departed out of Haran. Chapter 13 verse 1. And Abram went up out of Egypt. He and his wife. And all that he had. And Lot with him into the south. Verse number 2. And Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. And he went on his journeys from the south even to Bethel. Even the place where his tent had been at the beginning. Between Bethel and Hay. Verse number 4. Unto the place of the altar. Which he had made there at the first. And there Abram called on the name of the Lord. We are calling on the name of the Lord this morning. Ephesians chapter 1 and the verse 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God. To the saints which are at Ephesus. And to the faithful in Jesus Christ. Verse number 2. Grace be unto you. And peace from God our Father. And from the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse number 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who had blessed us all spirit. Who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Verse number 4. This is my favorite scripture. According as he has chosen us in him. Before the foundation of the world. That we should be holy. And without blame. Before him in love. Verse number 5. And where we conclude. Having predestinated us. Unto the adoption of children. By Jesus Christ. To himself. According to the good pleasure. Of his will. Having predestinated us. Unto the adoption of children by jesus christ himself according to the good pleasure of his will this is the word of the almighty god people of god the enemy is a trickster a liar and a deceiver and we won't believe his lies or his report because we have a god that never fails and we have a shepherd with a great exceptional anointing upon his life. He's a man of honor, a man of integrity, and a man of great principle. He has a word for you this morning. This word is timely. This word is pertinent. This is the type of word you will need when you're going through a struggle. People of the living God, with his message entitled, God has handpicked you for a blessing. Tell somebody, God has handpicked you for a blessing. Please receive the prophet of God, the general, the sophisticated one, Bishop Dr. G. G. Cooper, in the care of the blessed Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, sir. We here at Revival Time Ministries would like to congratulate the most honorable Andrew Holness our Prime Minister elect for an outstanding victory at the polls our prayers are with him and your team as we ask God anointed gardens on his life and for every decision he makes for beautiful Jamaica land we love we hope for the best and we will pray for you until economic victory is assured To our opposition, 
we want to say congratulations for a good fight and may God continue to shine his light in your wonderful country a Psalm 33 and verse 12 says blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people who he has chosen for his inheritance please get yourself together and come again till next time we pray for your victory But look over to your neighbor and say, neighbor, did you ever know that God has unpicked you to bless you? Thank you, Kwan. Thank you. Thank you. Be seated. Some people come into your life as a lesson and you learn from them while God send others as a blessing and to bless you a blessing is what you get from obeying God and rejecting evil one more time a blessing is what you get from obeying almighty god and rejecting evil a blessing may come in the form of good health say good health come on look at me now say good health over my life Say wealth, health, and happiness over my family. Speak it over yourself. At 75 years, God catch up with a man that was an heathen worshiper out of the challenge and say hey guy come here to me i know you you're abraham say yes lord you <laughs> don't you know who's talking to me he said yes sir he said i want to talk to you a minute all right sir now the lord said unto abraham Get thee out of your country. It's a new word today. It's going to make you <laughs> blessed. Get out of your country. Yes, sir. Get out from among your people. Yes, sir, your kindred. And from your father's house. Unto a land that I would show thee. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And one more thing before you go. I'm a Yaristic covenant keeping God. I'm going to sign a deal with you. And I, the Lord, your God, shall make thy name great. And I will make a great nation out of you. And I will bless you. Tell the devil I'm blessed. Tell him don't care what you do I'm blessed. You burn down my church. You send river wash out my church. I'm blessed. Some of you don't say nothing yet. No wonder you under something else. And one more thing sir. I will make thy name great. Say out of your spirit, my name is associated with greatness. If you don't want to believe that, sit down there. My name is associated with greatness. A 
And one more thing. And thou shalt be a blessing. Somebody that is worshiping this morning declare, I am a blessing to my fellow man. And one more thing, one more covenant I'm signing with you. Put your name there. And I will bless them that bless thee. And one more thing, Abraham. And I will curse him that curseth thee. One more thing, Abraham. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. He said, to macho and he saw macho at the receipt of custom gathering taxes for Caesar and he said follow me and he saw Peter mending his net down at the sea of Galilee and he said follow me Call your name, huh? Oh, God Almighty, preach with me this morning. God, call your name. Call your name. Follow me. I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. And I don't know what you're feeling down there. Blessing. To be endowed with power favor and protection from God well uh, help yourself down there I can't praise God for you just help yourself I'm just going to tell you who I am your business I am endued with favor protection and power from almighty God I'm gifted, anointed, handpicked, and called. I'm talking about you. I said I'm gifted, handpicked, and called. I don't care what you want to think about me, or you pray about me, or you write about me. Tell every devil from hell, I'm handpicked, I'm gifted, and called by Almighty God to proclaim the gospel of salvation. God has handpicked you. Be glad about it. Be glad about it. Be glad about it. I'm unpicked, I'm gifted, I'm called, I'm anointed Pastor Ferran by God for this hour. Open up your blessed mouth and tell the devil I'm handpicked, I'm gifted, I'm a child of promise, I'm a child of purpose, I'm a child of destiny in this hour. One more time for you that didn't hear and sit down on your hearing. I said to you, this man of God is handpicked. I'm called, prepared, anointed, chosen, gifted by Almighty God. I'm a child of purpose. I'm a child of destiny. For this hour, give him praise. Put a Put a praise on it, woman of God.
Jacob. Jacob had to wrestle for his blessing. But I don't have to do a thing. Then just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go on except, except you bless me. Joseph was blessed by God and JJ is also blessed by God and the Lord was with Joseph and he was prosperous I don't know how you so poor and destitute he was pros he was a prosperous man and he was in the house of his master the Egyptian and his master saw that the Lord was with him. Tell the person sitting beside you, I don't care what you think about me, the Lord is with me. I don't care what you're saying down there. <laughs> I don't care what you want to think this morning. And the Lord made all that he had to prosper in the land. Tell somebody I'm going to prosper in the land of Jamaica. I might be destitute and poor, but God said he's going to prosper me. Come on to break it and that put a praise on it. I'm preaching to you this morning. I'm preaching to you. Put a praise on it. When I was preaching this on Tuesday, in a little house your people were happy come up now come up now watch this tell somebody watch this I'm gonna bowl right up to the wicked not around the wicked listen to this Hear this. If you think I was telling a lie, hear this. Balaam could not curse the children of Israel. Numbers 22 12. Numbers 22, 12. And God said unto Balaam, Thou shalt not go with them. Thou shalt not curse the people. For they are blessed. Some folks don't hear it. I, I, I read it. I read it. <laughs> I read it slowly for you, and you're still sitting down under the curse. Sit down, listen now. I'm going to preach in a minute. I'm laying a foundation. And God said unto Balaam, Thou shalt not go with them. Two, thou shalt not curse them. Three, for the people are blessed. I said put a praise on it, put a worship on it, 
put a praise on it. And those in media land, in television land, in radio land, that is demigrating and spewing out poison and writing poison against the people of God against the prophet of God against the God's handpicked against God's chosen gifted and anointed prophet thou shalt not go with them thou shalt not curse them because they are blessed and all these blessings shall come upon Gigi blessed shall thou be and these blessings shall overtake thee if thou will hearken unto the voice give me a little more punch of the Lord thy God blessed shall thou be in the city and in the fields blessed shall thou be the fruit of thy body and of the fruit of thy ground good God I'm going to preach here Blessed shall the basket be in thy storehouse. Pray with me. Blessed shall thou be when you come in the pulpit. And blessed shall thou be when thou go out of the pulpit. The Lord, I'm going to preach here. God help me. Loosen up my place. Let me preach here. You're sitting down on my anointing, but you can't hold me. That the Lord and the Lord, I said the Lord shall cause thine enemies, my enemies. I got word for my enemies. I got a word for my enemies. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee I said I'm unpicked I said I'm anointed I told you I'm called you may not know but I'm gifted you may not know but I got purpose you may not know but destiny is on my life and the Lord shall cause my enemies that rise up against me to be smitten there's a smitten coming over your house there's judgment coming over your life there's judgment coming over your life there's judgment coming over your family there's judgment coming over your household and i will bless them everyone that stretch your hands to bless me god say I will bless them that bless thee. Everyone that has a good word and a good sentence and have a good counsel and a good advice for the man of God. God said, I will bless you for you blessed my servant, but I will curse them that curse thee. There's a curse coming over your house. There's a curse coming over your job. There's a curse coming over your household. There's a curse coming over your finance. There's a curse coming over your livelihood. I will bless them that bless thee. Come on here, Jesus. And I will curse them that curse thee. And I will bless them that bless thee and my enemies that come out against me yes you see all you Christians 
that come out against me you see all you sinners that come out against me you shall come out one way but you when God is true with you when God is finished with you you shall flee in seven different direction come on here Jesus Psalm number one and verse one blessed is a man that walketh not let me preach to myself in the counsel of the ungodly oh yes blessed is a man brother gg that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly now stand at gg in the ways of sinners come on gg now sit at in the seat of the scornful blessed is the man oh, jeremiah 7 17 jeremiah 7 7 yes jeremiah 17 7 yes blessed is the man that trusted come on gg preach to yourself that trusted in the lord whose hope is in the lord my hope is in the Lord my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus blood and righteousness I dare not trust that sweetest spring but only lean on Jesus name come on the line help me pray up in New York oh, but only lean on Jesus name you are key there on Christ the solid rock Jesus stand all of the ground is sinking sand I dare not trust the sweetest frame but only lean on Jesus name put a worship on it Some of you are hanging on to that cursed family, that godless family, that wicked family that you were born in. But the Lord is saying, get thee out of your country. Some of you were born in another parish. Some of you were born in another country. Some of you were born in another place. The Lord is saying this morning, get thee out from your cursed family, from your wretched family, from your godless family, from your humanistic family. Get thee out from thy kindred. Get thee out from your father's house unto a land that I will show thee I don't know where I'm going I'm just a pilgrim in a barren land and I say guide me oh the great Jehovah pilgrim through this barren land I am weak but you are mighty hold me with your powerful land I don't know where I'm going I don't know where I'm going I don't know what I will build back and where I will build back but guide me oh thou great Jehovah pilgrim through this barren land brother Gigi is weak but you are mighty hold me Jesus Tell the Lord, hold me when I'm sleeping. Hold me when I'm walking. Hold me when I'm driving. Hold me. Say Hold me, Jesus. Hold me, God. 
My enemies up to me, but hold me. The wicked is up to me, but hold me. They're trying to work over and witchcraft on me, but hold me, hold me. I wish I had a praying church. I wish I had a worshiping church. Hold me, Lord. Well, Lord, hold me with your powerful hand. Hold me. I am weak, but you hold me. I'm tired, but you hold me. I don't know where I'm going, but hold me. I don't know how, where I will be, but hold me. Yes, and I will make of thee a great nation. My name, my name, my destiny, my purpose is wrapped around greatness. Nobody you talk about me, nobody plan for me, don't bother write about me, don't hold any congregation over me. My name is associated with greatness. I shall be great. I will be great. I am great. And God said, I'll make the name great and make a V a great nation. And I say, I say, I, yes, yes, Lord. And I will bless thee. Yes, Lord. I feel the blessing. I know the blessing. I've experienced the blessing. Ever since you called me, I know your blessing on my life, on my progress. Yes, Lord. I know your blessing on my land. And whatsoever I touch is blessed. My ways are blessed. My home is blessed. My going out is blessed. My coming in is blessed. You back off. Back off, devil. Keep quiet. Poison mouth. Keep quiet. Wicked man. Keep quiet. Evil man. I will make thee. A great nation. And I, and I, it's not temple of praise blessing me. It's not celebration church blessing me. You can sit down, I don't care who, what you think. I don't care if you stand up or you sit down. I don't care if you're getting blessed or you're not getting blessed. And the Lord shall make of thee a great nation. Ah, and I will bless thee. Yes, Yahweh's to God, covenant keeping God. Ah, I will not alter the words that have gone out of my mouth. And I'll make thy name, G.G. Cooper, shall be a word around the world. G.G. Cooper shall be a household word G.G. Cooper shall be a word on the lips of my enemy and thou shalt be a blessing blessing I will bless thee yes I don't care what you think I don't care what you say I don't care what you write I am blessed And I will bless them. There's a blessing for those that bless me. There's a blessing for those who support me. There's a blessing for those who help me. There's a blessing for those 
who preach with me who praise God with me there's a blessing for those that build with me and I will bless thee ah, and the Lord the Lord said curse him that curse thee you see all your people writing on Facebook you see all your people writing on YouTube you see all you cleaner and you star and you newspaper and you television land curse will curse them that curse thee curse be them that curse thee God will curse you ah, when you wake in the morning the curse will be on you when you sign the contract the curse will be on you when you build the curse will all be on you when you go out the curse will be on you when you worship the curse will be on your worship and I will bless them that bless thee I will curse them that curse thee and let me tell you all the people around you giving to you that hear you that log on to you and all the families of the earth shall be blessed the favor shall be upon the protection shall be upon mercy shall be upon you goodness shall be upon you preservation and protection shall be around you and Abraham went down to Egypt and he had trouble down there Genesis 12 13 and he took his wife and all that he had and locked with him into the south. Tell the enemy I'm going south. You can't go south, stand up like a stick. Tell the enemy I'm going south. South wind of God. Blow my blessing. Shout wind of God, blow my miracle, blow my deliverance. I'm going south. And Abraham went south. I don't know what is in the south, but I'm going south. Miracle is in the south. My blessing is in the south. My breakthrough is in the south. I don't know where you're sitting down going, but there are those of us in this house. We're going south, and Abraham went south. Yes. And Abraham was very rich. I'm going to be very rich. Come musician, play with me and stay with me. I'm going to be very rich. I'm a son of Abraham. I'm a daughter of Abraham. And in thee, and in thee, shall all the families of the earth be blessed. I'm a son of Abraham. I'm a preacher of Abraham. I'm a man called by God, anointed hand and pig. God has chosen me from my mother's womb to bless me. God has chosen me from my mother's womb to anoint me. God has chosen me from my mother's womb to put his anointing upon my life for these uncertain times doing COVID 
19 God will prove his power God will prove his majesty God will prove his grace God will prove his anointing put up praise woman of God put up praise Too much poverty the prime minister speak about prosperity don't make the JLP speech about prosperity while you speak poverty lack and defeat I am a child of God come on say that loud I am And Abraham was very rich in silver and in gold and in cattle. I'm gonna wake you up this morning. What do what do you have? Sit down a minute. What do you have? You neither have silver, you neither have cattle. And you neither have gold. Some of you don't even have a bank account. What do you have? If I am serving God, He promised to bless me. And Abraham was very rich. That is why I speak million dollar blessing over you. That is why I pray million dollar prayer over you. Everyone that follow me as of this day, use your right hand as of this day. I'm writing it on the floor. As of this day, blessings, riches, honor, greatness, favor shall be upon me. Give the Lord a praise offering. Clap your hands and speak it over yourself. Clap your hands and speak it over yourself. Honor and blessing and riches and shall be upon me. Integrity, honor. And he went up, and he went up his journey from the south. Something about the south here. Even unto Bethel. Tell yourself that Bethel is calling me. I don't hear what you say. Bethel. Bethel is a place. Will Jacob wrestle with God? Bethel is a place that Abraham pitched his tent. Bethel is a place of wrestling. Is a place of power. Is a place where your name is changed. Is a place of direction. Is a place of prosperity where you cut deal with God. Somebody help me over here. Cut a deal with God. Say greatness is over my life. Come and preach with me now. Say I'm coming up from the south. And Bethel. Come on Bethel. I said Bethel. I said Bethel. House of power. Place of deliverance. Place where you wrestle. Place where you cut deal with God. Bleh Bethel is calling me. Bethel.
is beckoning me Bethel I want to find the place that I once talked with God I want to go back to the place where I found God I want to go back to the place that God touched me and God anointed me and God spoke my first miracle say a lot I want to go back to the place woman here where I once find God where I once met God say better I want to go back to the place where I once pray. Take me back to the place where I met you when I was in trouble. Take me back to the place where I fasted in my affliction. Take me back to the place where I waited on you, God. Take me back to the place where you gave me a new name and a new direction. Take me back to the place where I cut a deal with you. Yes, yes, yes. Take me back to the place where I heard your voice where you spoke my name where miracles started yes lord say yes lord oh yes lord take me back to the place where i had my first altar Onto the place of the altar which he had made there at the first and there Abraham called on the name of the Lord get back to your first altar that's where your name became great that's where people start to identify you that is there where an anointing was upon your life and people took a note of you take me back young preacher man take me back to Bethel yes Lord where I wrestle with angels yes take me back to Bethel where I wrestle with angels and I found my purpose and I found my miracle and I found my miracle I found a place with a miracle with my name written down I come to tell you those who are feeding this morning that God has your name with a miracle oh, i got a noonday miracle i got a one o'clock miracle yes i got a one o'clock miracle coming up i got a eight o'clock miracle coming up i got a nine o'clock miracle coming up i got a ten o'clock miracle coming up yes lord I got a four o'clock miracle on Love FM. Yes, Love Television. I got a four o'clock miracle coming up. Oh Lord, take me back to the place. You're looking at me, woman. Child of Lord. The problem is. You have lots with you. Your problem is you take lots with you. Lot may be the flesh. Lots represent bondage. Drugs in your luggage. Trouble in your wire. Get rid of lot. Get rid of lot. Lot is a lust and greed. Lot is trouble. Lot is problem. Come out of the lot's bed. Come out of lot's bed. Tell lot go in the yard. 
tell that lot you finish with him tell lot you disassociate yourself come on church of god tell lot go home tell lot leave you alone it's not the whole land before you separate yourself what you doing with lot lot is trouble lot is stoppage lot is problem lot was with him every time abraham got into trouble it was caused by lot god never tell you to take lot god never tell you to marry to lot god never tell you to engage lot you took lot and that's why you can't praise him that's why you can't worship that's why you can't feel god that's why you can't feel anointing that's why you can't feel purpose latin of your life latin of your bed latin of your relationship get rid of lot get rid of lot close him he chose you in him before the foundation of the world predestinated you adopted you as children by Jesus Christ to himself according to his good pleasure according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love and stretch up your hand if that don't make you happy there's no preacher under the sun gonna make you happy stretch up your hand my father my father here at celebration church i lift my hands and i say guide me O thou great jehovah i'm a pilgrim to this barren jamaica i am weak but you are mighty hold me with your powerful hand these stations that releases revival time your direction bless them everyone that is listening to me by television by streaming by radio bless them i will bless them that bless you everyone that stretches their hands to help me rebuild bless them and everyone that speaketh evil against me let the evil return to their bosom let the curse return to their lips and to their family and to their relationship thank you for revival time today Thank you for the man of God over this house and the woman of God that bless me and celebrate me and give me an opening to preach. Bless him wherever he is today. Bless this church and bless the families of this church. Now Lord, may thy blessings be upon thy people and upon their household. May the blood cover them and may you protect them from COVID-19. Bless this government and the works of their hands. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Until next week at the same time. When I'm blessed and privileged by Almighty God to release in your home and over your family a word of blessing and hope and victory and salvation. The blessings of God be upon you and upon your house. Right. I need your help at this time. In Jesus Christ's name.